Back from the Grave. Trials of a groundbreaking medical project that will attempt to bring the dead back to life are about to begin. Scientists will conduct trials on patients who have been declared clinically dead from a traumatic brain injury. The brain will be injected with stem cells and amino acids and undergo laser and nerve stimulation that has been shown to temporarily raise awareness in patients in comas. The brain will be monitored for signs of regeneration, especially the upper spinal cord, which controls independent breathing and heartbeat. Scientists conducting the trials cite the ability of animals to repair parts of their nervous systems. Fish and amphibians, such as salamanders, are particularly adept at regenerating neural tissue after injury. Trials involving 20 patients who are on life support machines are set to begin in India in July. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Keep watching for more tales of life after death. Pregnant teenage bride buried alive, gets rescued, dies again. 16-year-old Nase Perez was buried alive in La Entrada, Honduras. She was three months pregnant and fell unconscious in her bathroom during the night after reportedly having a panic attack from hearing gunfire outside her home. Her religious parents called a priest to perform an exorcism because they thought she was possessed by a demon. When that didn't work, they took her to a hospital where she was pronounced dead three hours later. Perez had recently been married, so she was buried in her wedding dress. When her husband went to visit her grave the next day, he heard screaming coming from inside the coffin. He ran to get help and relatives came to rescue, smashing the mausoleum open and taking out the coffin. She reportedly had bruises and scratches on her face from trying to escape the grave after being buried alive. She was unconscious and taken to the hospital inside the coffin. Doctors were unable to resuscitate her and she was pronounced dead again. Time of death declaration and utter fail. Woman still alive. In Germany, an undertaker was shocked when one of his clients pushed open the coffin lid and asked where she was. In fact, he was so shocked he passed out. After returning to his senses, the man realized it wasn't the start of the zombie apocalypse and called emergency services. Paramedics arrived and confirmed that the 92-year-old woman did indeed have a pulse. She was then rushed to hospital where she died again two days later. The nursing home staff were interviewed and questioned how one of their residents came to be diagnosed as dead when she in fact wasn't. One of the staff had reportedly discovered the elderly woman in the morning and contacted their local on-staff doctor to check on her. The doctor pronounced her death and arrangements were made to move her body to the morgue, where the undertaker got the shock of his life. Hopefully, the 92-year-old grandmother won't have a moment of deja vu waking up in a coffin again. Zombie cat catastrophe. Owner claims the SPCA kidnapped his cat. Bart the zombie cat is back in the news again. This time it's because his owner is accusing the Humane Society of Tampa Bay of kidnapping his resurrected kitty for publicity. If you remember, Bart was trying to cross a busy boulevard near his home one day a couple of weeks ago when he was tragically hit by a passing car. Owner Ellis Hudson, who we had no idea was actually a black guy, apparently was too broken up about his four-legged friend and asked the pal to bury him. Good old Bart wasn't ready for the afterlife yet, though, and burned one of his nine lives clawing out of the shallow grave. He was soon reunited with Hudson when a friend found a badly injured feline. Bart had an operation to remove his injured eye, wire his jaw shut, and put a feeding tube in on January 27th. The Humane Society said he'd go home with Hudson after six weeks of recovery. However, they soon reversed their decision saying, quote, we don't believe Hudson has the ability to take care of this cat, citing his two-year-old daughter's playful tendencies as the primary reason. They go on to allege that Hudson probably knew the cat was still barely alive and still buried him anyway. Hudson is standing by his words and says he will meet them in court if necessary. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Cryonics could give people a second chance at life. A landmark British court ruling that a 14-year-old girl who died of cancer should have her body cryogenically frozen has once again put the spotlight on the controversial process known as cryonics. Cryonics is a procedure that preserves the human body at low temperatures after death in the hope it can be revived in the future. The process must begin within two minutes of a person being declared legally dead. 
Although the heart has stopped beating, there is still some brain function during this period. So a heart-lung resuscitator is used to stabilize the body and keep the brain supplied with blood and oxygen. In the next step of the process, an anticoagulant is injected into the body to stop the blood clotting during transit. The body is then packed in ice and transported to a cryonics facility. Once there, a process called vitrification begins, where the blood is replaced with a cryoprotectant antifreeze fluid. This is done to prevent the cells from freezing and to stop ice crystals from forming around the organs at extremely low temperatures. The body is then placed on a bed of dry ice until it cools to minus 130 degrees Celsius. Once cooled sufficiently, the body is transferred to an individual container, which is in turn lowered into a larger metal tank that's filled with liquid nitrogen to keep the temperature at minus 196 degrees Celsius. Between four and six bodies are typically held in the tanks. They are stored with heads facing down to ensure the brains would stay immersed in the freezing liquid, even if there is a leak in the container. Britain's High Court ruled in October that a 14-year-old girl had the right to be cryogenically frozen after her parents disagreed about whether she should undergo the process. Before she died, the girl wrote to the court to say she wanted the chance to live again, even if it took 200 years for scientists to wake her up. Around 350 people have been cryogenically frozen since the 1960s, including several notable scientists and the baseball legend Ted Williams. However, the technology to revive someone who's been cryogenically frozen does not exist, and there is no proof that it ever will. Grandfather returns home months after family had him cremated. Imagine you went for a walk one day, had a few drinks along the way, and came home months later to realize everyone thought you were dead. That's what happened to 74-year-old Miguel Angel Gomar de Luna in Chihuahua, Mexico, who now has to prove he's still alive. The old man was living at a nursing home late last year when one day he snuck away and did not return. On Christmas Day, his family was alerted that he'd gone missing. They searched for weeks, but there was no trace of him anywhere. After some time had passed, police recovered a badly decomposed body of a man that fit Miguel's description. The body was difficult to identify, but Miguel's daughter was told if they could not confirm it was him, the body would not be released to the family. She signed papers to claim that the body was indeed that of her dad's and held a funeral days later, the body cremated. You can imagine the shock they must have felt when on February 24th, police contacted her to say her father was found on the street, alive. When he was brought home, he was in rough shape, bandages around his head and scars on his face. When asked what happened, he said he'd just gone for a walk. He'd also reportedly been drinking the entire time. Talk about a bender. His family grateful for his return, they're now tasked with reclaiming his identity, seeing as he's been legally declared dead. 